Howdy. So, show you how we make uh, cow cow and carrot juice. Kind of proportions we're using, what have you. Oh, look at that. Looks nice. Someone put a nice couch in our lounge. Well, they nice it up a bit. I like that. Bit of a change. Very nice. Oh, I didn't play the drums today. This is how the set's looking now. What time is it? It ain't that late. It ain't that late. No one's just sleeping. No one's just sleeping. Oh, what's that stand doing? That's not my stand. Very handy there. Yes, I was going to show you how I was making cow cow juice, but I ended up walking into the drum set. Let's just see how this records when I put it like on the chair just over here. Just for curiosity. Still working. Can you sell cans of slightly bigger than this? Yep. They come in all sizes. Hmm. So, here we are in my domain. Very nice. Very nice. So, this is the tree in question, which some of you may recognise, some of you foreign people may not, native to New Zealand, Piper Excelsium, aka Kawakawa. So in terms of quantities, well you can look down here, you can see those are the branches. So like, about... You know, this much is kind of, that's more of a dose than most people would have, but it's not a dangerous dose at all. Not a very exciting drug, it's good for your liver. Um, it's supposed to be quite good on the old kidneys as well. I'll just set you all up here so you can. Okay, oh, you got some kind of a cure of it there. No proceedings. So I'm just doing it straight up. Cow cow and carrot indeed, so I am just pushing it through gently. We've got so far about 300 mil so far. Most of which volume would be carrot. I often use this um, as a substitute for ginger taste wise if you're wanting to balance flavours out. It's um Like about this much, you know, we handful like that. It's probably equivalent in taste to about that much ginger. In terms of degree of piquantness, 
Now a lot of people think that you have to heat this one up before you can safely ingest it. But um, well, I've only got anecdotal evidence that that's not true. But I've got quite a lot of anecdotal evidence. Of course, there's plenty of anecdotal evidence that you shouldn't um, ingest it without heating it first. But I've never heard anyone who's had it raw say that. So. Yeah, obviously carrots are good raw, we know that, they don't have too much toxins. I mean, there is going to be a degree of toxicity in this leaf, but I've never, I don't know what it is. Oh, it's probably got those, those, what's in my flanges, the same as um, the silver beet. And um, beetroot has. And this, so it's the same ones that turmeric has that are really strong. Almost definitely got some of those because it's a green leaf. I can't remember what they're called. But I find I can eat a similar amount of this raw as I can um, silver beet, which is to say not much. So I can't eat much silver beet raw at all. Just crazy with me. that horrible feeling at the back of the throat which I've got from eating too much beetroot raw as well and some beetroots are more than others like it's kind of a bit hit and miss with a oxalic acid that's what I'm talking about At least the cheapest. I'm not sure what cow cow really does for you. I don't think many people are. But um I like a lot of the medicinal leaves. You don't have to know everything about it in order for it to function. I will throw and drop it in there. So you'll notice. I keep my juice from my bedroom. I like it that way. It means I'm not getting in anyone's way in the kitchen while I'm doing this. And I don't have to smell anyone else's god awful cooking. Oh wow. I didn't realize that was plugged in there Let's turn it off and see. I'll leave it on for a little bit. It's probably safer off. If the neighbor turns on his heater. Blow the fuse out. Keep it down to 500 watts. flip here. Wow. It's funny, isn't it? <laughs> now, things that... Imagine if you're like an alien, you didn't know about Earth culture at all. Some things that would seem like perfectly 
reasonable kind of a statements might might not sound too good to you like or might not sound too good to us and they'll sound fine to them like i mean everyone gets on board with gay pride it's awesome but what about white pride oh my god <laughs> oh it's here human pride I, I prefer to just stick with that one it's a little bit less controversial I am proud of humanity. This is very good. Thank you, Lef, for making such good glass. But you don't make good beer. Ooh, ooh, the barbs are out. Ow. You don't make good beer. All right, so what time of year is it? April, May, June. It's around June 20th. And I can say for future reference, the Kawa Kawa is very mild and mellow. It almost tastes... Like this drink here, it almost tastes like their berries taste. I mean, fair enough, it is mostly carrots and a little bit of ginger, but to have captured the same kind of sweet balance as the berries, <coughs> it is a pretty good thing. Cow cow berries are very nice, by the way. Highly recommend it. Birds like them too. I. For any islander people out there, do you eat the berries of the kava tree? Because it's very closely related to this one. This one ain't particularly psychoactive. It's a little bit like um, industrial hemp oil kind of thing. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, I'm not looking too god awful. I'm kind of running, running about 70% at the moment, I guess. But it is the middle of winter. Oh, yeah. I've got to do a video about um, uh, weeded posture and the choice of head and machine and fit, fitment. It's similar in how particular it is to bike fitment. Which is to say, you really want to do want to get it right. Um, yeah. Well, it depends. Same with bike filming. Like, it doesn't really matter if you hard to ride a bike. Just ride it, and it's fine. Alrighty. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Have a good one. Uh, and um, yeah, don't stay tuned. Please don't do something.